All right, today we're going to roast some coffee. We have green coffee beans. We have Sumatra from Coffee Bean Corral, Kenya, and we have Colombia Huila coffee beans. This is what the green coffee beans look like. They have not been roasted yet. After we roast them, they're going to look like this. Nice and dark. All right. Now we're going to show you how we do it. So come on out here. This is my roaster. It's called a barbecue. So, what we do is we take the green beans. This is the insert of a like an old 1970s um, vegetable steamer. I made this out of a pie tin. It keeps the beans from all sitting down at the bottom. It mixes them up real good. So you take your green coffee beans. These are Sumatra beans. Pour them in. How cool is that? And then you have to have your Baker's Square pie tin because it's got the holes in it. And of course, you have to have your rotisserie skewer. It goes up through the hole that I punched in this thing. Mm -hmm. And then it goes on, piped in. And then we keep it all together. Okay. We're looking good. And then we take this and we put it on the Barbie. Turn on the rotisserie, and we're making coffee. Okay, so close the lid, and we're at about, we're going to be at about 400, maybe 450 degrees once the temperature kicks up because we closed the lid. And then we take our stopwatch, and we start it. And the whole process takes about 20 minutes. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, it is 9 minutes and 49 seconds into the process. And as you can see here, our temperature has crept up to about 500 degrees which is a little higher than I want. I usually want it between 400 and 450. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. And if you listen, you'll start to hear little cracks. Hear those? Sound like Rice Krispies. That's called the first crack. There's two cracks in the process. The first one we just blow on through. So. We'll be back in a minute. 1325 into the process. And the second crack has started. You can hear it. It's a lot more aggressive than the first crack. Sounds like crackling wood almost. And it's about, the second crack usually lasts, I don't know, for about two minutes at this temperature and I usually turn off the flame at about halfway through the crack. You can hear it just going real fast now. You can see the smoke from the oils on the outside of the um, beans starting to burn off. And that's when I turn it off. So we just remove all the heat. And then I usually take a water bottle and I'll back up. spray it off a little bit to remove some of the heat a little bit quicker to stop the roasting process. Otherwise you end up with charcoal, mm. which doesn't taste as good as roasted coffee beans. <laughs> So 
So this is only the um, fourth time I've used this technique of a barbecue. I don't know how long this steamer insert is actually going to last through this kind of heat. So maybe in a year I'll post again and let you know how it's doing. Kind of evaporates when it hits. Yep. Okay. Now, we'll come back and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, it's been about a half hour. We've just been doing our stuff while letting them cool down. They're uh, cool to the touch now. So let's take them off the barbecue and see what we've got. go we have roasted coffee beans yay so after uh, four hours or so the taste of the coffee bean will come back if you were to grind it right now you would taste the roast but not necessarily the real characteristics of the bean so I've read so um, in four hours or so we'll enjoy a cup of coffee Yum.